These are some of the best and worst popular products that maybe you've been wanting to try. And I'm going to share what I think is really worth it and what is totally not, what you should steer clear of, what I think is terrible. And I think a lot of you are probably going to disagree with some of the things I say, which is totally fine. Everyone is different, but let me know your opinions, feedback, comments down below. But let's get started with the first item. It's the ever classic Biore Pore Strips. These have been around since I was probably in elementary school. I mean, they've been around a long time and it's more than just Biore. So many other brands are coming out with their own version of these pore strips and it's suddenly super popular again. Like everyone is buying these pore strips and I just don't think they work at all. Like the thing is there's some level of satisfaction because when you do peel off that strip, there is some gunk stuck to it. So you think, oh my gosh, this is like such a good before and after. It, it like, it sells itself in a way but it doesn't actually remove any blackheads like it claims to. It does remove some sebum, so you think you're doing something, but that comes back literally in six hours. So I feel like it's one of those gimmicky things that doesn't actually do anything. Next we have Orbe hair products. Do we think it's the best? Do we think it's the worst? Okay, for this one, I'm kind of, uh, kind of, I'm going both directions here. Hear me out with this. And by the way, for the longest time in a lot of videos, I've said Aribe because that's what I thought it was. And then like everyone corrected me. So I think they're the worst a lot of the time, which goes against what everyone thinks because I cannot stand how fragrance they are. It is next level. You know, things are scented. This is like 10 times the amount of fragrance and scent in their products. So much so, even though the quality is fabulous, I mean, these products are expensive. I can't take the smell for the majority of their products. Now, I'm gonna go with the best. <laughs> with their darn clarifying shampoo. I was sent this, I did not buy it. I love it. I, I don't think I've ever been so mesmerized by a shampoo before. And I'm not even saying it's going to make your hair like, ooh, it's so shiny. It's so like, like it's it just really cleans your hair and it is a foam. I've never used a foam for a shampoo before. It is the most luxury experience. It's like a slice of heaven. You won't know until you try it. It lathers so nicely. And as far as the fragrance, let me get to that. This is like the only product I've ever tried by this brand that doesn't have an insane smell. Like there is a scent, but it's just normal. It's just kind of light. It's just awesome. It's expensive, but I love this. And just so you know, everything that I mentioned in this video, whether it be the best or the worst, I will have linked down below in case you want to check it out further, read more reviews, see what you think. This next product is so popular. It's so viral. It's so cool. Like, look at this thing. It's so interesting. Do you, do you know what it is? Do you want it? I know, I do too. It's a, it's a mascara shield, a mascara shield. So that when you're putting on mascara, it like protects the back of your lid from getting like gunk on it and it makes your lashes longer and fuller and it sucks. It's terrible. I have no idea why this is so popular. It makes no sense to me. This is the most awkward device. It really, like you can barely, like, it, no, 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 no. I thought maybe I'm being dumb because again, it seems so popular. I gave it to my assistant Katie and I was like, try this out. Maybe I'm being stupid. Have your sister try it. Everyone hates it. I feel like it is one of those stupid cheap items that somehow like popped off somewhere on TikTok and a person got rich, but it really does nothing. I don't know. I'm sorry I'm being harsh. This is really hard for me to do because I know that probably somebody invented this. I know there's probably small businesses selling it. That's why I rarely get on here and share what I just really don't like. Um, so I apologize. Do I? I don't know. Eh. While we're on the subject of eyelashes and popular products, let's talk about magnetic eyelash strips. Because in theory, this is what I should, like this, this is for me because I can't do it. They should just magnetically stick and I'm good to go. No. No, 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 no. I can't do any of it. So I'm probably not the best person to even be having this opinion. I can't even put on regular lashes with glue. I feel like I'm not alone though. So I was like, ooh, magnetic lashes. Like that's it for me, N the worst. The worst out of everything. However, I, I can't even really get the hang of these press on lashes, like just press and go. What the heck, I cannot do it. My friend Brittany, like I see her in person and I'm like, how do you do it? It looks so good. Like if people can get this down, to me, this is the way to go. You can even get this bonding glue and it'll last you like over a week and it looks like you have natural, but kind of like eyelash extensions. I can't do it at all. So I'm not 
I'm not really recommending this. I just think this would be like what you should try instead of anything magnetic. Okay, let's talk about something happy, like something that really is the best that's, that's popular. I do have some good products in this video. I wanna share the Chrome Powder, the ever popular Chrome Powder for your nails totally worth it. This is so cheap, but makes such a big difference and impact on your nails. If you do your nails at home, this is amazing. Even if you get them done in a salon, a lot of salons have this, but if they don't, you could take this to them and say, can you put some chrome on top? It's so simple. All you do is pick whatever base color you want and then take like a little sponge and rub it over top of the nails and then paint a clear polish over top to set it. And it's so pretty. You can make it really light and kind of hardly noticeable, or you can make it it really dark and dramatic, but I love this and I'm wearing it on my nails right now. Next we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Do we think this is the best? Do we think it's the worst? I've recommended this a lot. So I definitely don't think it's the worst. I mean, this stuff really works, like it is great, but there's one aspect of it that I think is the worst. There's one thing that this does I can't, I despise. I still use it because I think the actual product itself is great. Like you put this on before bed, it works through the night, it plumps up your lips, makes them look juicy, it hydrates them like really well. But the scent again is ridiculous. Like it is so fruity. It's like a sugar bomb has gone off under my nose and I smell it all night long. And so, I, I recently have discovered the Tatcha Lip Mask. This is an expensive brand, and so I'm always just kind of like, oh, should I share this? But the thing is, it is so worth it to me, and I don't know if you can even see in this clip here, like this product is glorious. Like it is beautiful. There's no scent whatsoever, but it really makes your lips shiny and glossy and hydrated. Like it works so well. And I just really prefer this. I'm still, again, I'm not completely knock knocking this because I really like it. I just wish it wasn't so powerful. So if I'm going to choose any of these, it's 1000% going to be this one. And super quick, if you're enjoying this at all, please subscribe down below. Okay, I'm just gonna make this one quick because by now you guys are definitely thinking, I'm a lunatic with fragrance, but I really don't think I am. But I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream can't do it. It probably is a good product. It probably really helps that bum bum. But this is so fakely scented. Like it just smells like a, be a fake beach. It's a fake beach. I feel like it is too potent that I can't even, I cannot put it on my body. Um, so I've recommended the Necessaire products before. I've even worked with them. I stand behind that. This is not sponsored. They have no idea I'm saying this, but these are the best lotion products I have ever tried. They're completely unscented. The ingredients are really, really good. So this is all that I use. And unfortunately, I can't use this, this, but I know, I know a lot of you do. So again, I'm probably in the minority here. Hopefully throughout this video, you're finding this somewhat interesting, maybe a little entertaining, and I'm not actually making you mad because everyone is different, but I'm about to make more people mad because I'm gonna say some not so good things about the Stanley Cup. I know, like obsessions. Like people have 15 of these throughout the house. Like you see these everywhere and I have two of them and I use it all the time. In fact, this is full. So like I was using this. My point in putting in this video is not to say like this is the absolute worst, but I think the simple modern is the best, okay? I think that the price is better, the style is better, it's less leaking. Like get this one. Don't get this. I mean, you can. I'm not saying, it's, again, it's not terrible. I think this is just really underrated. And before we move on, I just wanna clarify, these hold the same amount of liquid. They keep liquid hot and cold for the same amount of time. They fit in the same cup holders. There's really no difference between the two of these, except this one is less expensive. Okay, let's talk about a very popular product that I absolutely love. It is the Snail Mucin Essence. I know, it's so weird. It's like the, I've, and, I've, and I, I have a point to putting it in this video because I tried something else that goes along with this, but it's the, it's the like goopy stuff from a snail and everyone's like disgusted by it. And I was too until I tried it. It has no scent to it. It doesn't smell gross. It's so gloopy, but it hydrates and moisturizes your, like your skin within a few days feels so nice. It's very viral and popular, but so worth it to me. It is one of the best. But I recently got this. It is the Snail Mucin Sheet Mask. And I'm not usually a fan of sheet masks, but I love this one because I, I think I just love this product so much. And when you put it on, it does just like 
zoop, it like goes into your skin and it really absorbs well, but I love how it's that same product, but it just, it's like, it, it takes it to the next level and it just really sits on your face. It absorbs, but also sits on your face. And I feel like you just get kind of like instant results from it. I'm not gonna use these every day or anything. It's more just kind of like a little fun thing to do maybe on the weekends, but definitely one of the best products. But then we have the Rare Beauty Viral Blush. I just don't like it. I don't like it at all. And it's so popular. It's so popular and it's so pigmented. And that's what it's known for. I mean, like a little goes a long way. And I understand the value in that. Like this will last you your entire life, maybe twice over. You just need a little dot. And then thing is, it's just so hard to work with. Like you're on the brink always of potentially looking like a clown. You're on the brink of potentially ruining your entire makeup look. And so I just feel like it's extremely hard to work with. And so it surprises me that it is that popular. Now you guys probably already have so many blushes. I have so many blushes. I think the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge Lips and Cheeks blush. It's a cream blush and I just feel like it's so easy to work with. You can even put some on your lips to give you some pigment, but you can build it up. You can make it super light. You can just do whatever you want with this and it just blends seamlessly. So again, I love this brand. I just don't love this product. I have a lot to say about this High Smile Purple Toothpaste. It's like super purple and maybe you've seen it everywhere, everywhere, it, it is everywhere. It's cool, like it draws you in because this, this, these people are brushing their teeth with this super purple pigmented stuff and it's supposed to like instantly whiten your teeth. And so I, because I test everything, I was like, I ordered it and I have terrible teeth in that like, the structure with like all the issues I've had in my, like I don't have great teeth, but I have like decently white teeth. That's like literally the only thing I have going for me. But Josh's teeth are kind of yellow. So I was like, you're the perfect specimen. Let's give this a go. And we did it. And I'm not a fan, not a fan at all. I almost think it made his teeth look like kind of green. Like it was odd. What's the, the purpose of this? Let me just quickly explain it. It counteracts the yellow to make them look whiter. So in theory, it sounds great, but I don't think it worked well at all. It is not a substitute for toothpaste. A lot of people I think, think this actually is a toothpaste. Like it cleans your teeth and is working every day to whiten your teeth. No, 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 no. This is like a superficial thing that if you're going out at night, you can do this before and your teeth should look whiter. I just don't think it works at all. I think it can actually make them look worse. And it scares me that people think they're working on whitening their teeth and they're not. So I don't recommend that. Uh, but I am going to say, because I always get questions about toothpaste and I just love this stuff so much because it actually is a really good toothpaste to clean your teeth and make them healthier, but it actually is a whitening, like a healthy whitening toothpaste. It's by Hello, read the reviews. They have, even if this is a charcoal toothpaste, so that really does just like suck out all of the pigment and it works over time very well and it's not gritty. It's nothing like the charcoal toothpaste of the past, okay? But even if you don't want a charcoal toothpaste, they have just the regular minty version and I just love the ingredients in this. So if you're going to work to whiten your teeth in a good way, get this. To me, this is the best. This is the worst. But that is everything. As I mentioned, it'll all be linked down below in case you wanna check it out further. But please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.